Hey guys, I'm here with another update on my P puffer tank. As you may have noticed, the tank looks a little different than it did last time. Rearranged the plants, new plants, and such. I've had a algae problem recently, hair algae. I've had to clean it and redo it several times, trying to eradicate the hair algae. So if it looks a little different video to video, that's why. Today I want to take a look at their breeding behavior. I noticed one of my males is chasing around one of the females, courting her, trying to keep her in his territory, and also chasing off other males, and he lost the other females then, but the other females seems to chase off them, so she seems to have chosen him as well. When the female swims out of his area, he kind of chases her. He's like, hey, where are you going? Get back here. A little bit of a controlling relationship, I guess. When this happens, he kind of chases her, trying to corral her back to the area, as well as fend off any males that come near her. He's a pretty cool fish. I really enjoy owning them. They have a lot of personality and such, and they do have a strict eating requirements. They tend to only eat live foods, but they have a lot of redeeming qualities about them. You may see a bit of floating particles in the water here, but I, this is after a clean that I did. So a little bit, little bit of stuff still floating in the water. I'll add some filter floss around my filter to clean that out. At this point, I've cleaned out most of the hair allergy. It's really slowed its growth, but I might have to do one more clean after this to totally eradicate it. I try to maintain almost no nitrates in here. The plants really help with that, it really slows the hair allergy's growth. It's kind of funny when he sees his reflection in the glass here. He thinks it's another male, so he kind of tries to chase it off, but just runs into the glass. Just does like a glass surfing maneuver whenever he's not really paying attention and then turns around and notices she isn't in the area he has a little panic attack and then goes searching for her to corral her back once he has her safely tucked away at home he often goes off and patrols the area searching for any males that might be nearby in addition to females that he might claim Here's one of these females I'm um, speaking of, over there hiding behind the kabamba. Here she goes investigating a bubble that she thought was a snail. Might be time to give her some food, she looks a little hungry. dude's definitely the alpha in the tank he's the biggest one in there he's about an I don't know, inch and a half or so it's fairly big for a pea puffer I believe he goes back and forth between uh, patrolling the area make sure there's no males around and uh, kind of circles her waiting for her to pick a spot basically to lay some eggs watching out for nesting behaviors He's cautious to make sure that if she does lay eggs, he's the one that fertilizes them. As she gets more comfortable with him and he can get closer and closer, he'll start poking and prodding at her, trying to coerce her to lay some eggs for him to fertilize. It's like a little dance he does, he just kind of circles her and crowls her in and slowly tries to gain her favor and make her more comfortable with him so he can, you know, reproduce. Here 
Here's one of the other males. He's in here stalking the snail, waiting for him to rear its head so he can suck it out of the shell. As you can see, he's much smaller than the other one. They're at the same age, I got them at the same time. They were both really tiny when I got them. But the other one grew a lot more than this one did. It's really interesting to watch them hunt. They're real choosy and precise about how they do it. They like to go for the head first, so they position themselves in a way that they can suck it right out of the shell. They do that with anything though. Worms, anything, they always go for the head first. Yeah, they have really good vision. Their, uh, their eyes, they can actually move them independently, kind of like a chameleon. They're really interesting the way they swim. They kind of hover in the water, kind of reminiscent to how a hummingbird flies. They can maneuver themselves really well, kind of like a helicopter in a sense. The other thing that's pretty interesting about these guys is their, uh, their teeth. They have uh, really sharp beaks. They can uh, take like surgical like bites that are really clean and precise. They can use these teeth to bite into hard-shelled critters like snails and what have you. Notice that they will, if they can't get to the head of a snail that's up towards the surface that's floating, they'll actually bite into the shell which will release the air that the snails use for the buoyancy which forces them to sink and then they're pretty much dinner. They spend a lot of their time kind of scanning the substrate and plants and everything, looking for movement. Their eyes are real sensitive to movement, so they can pick out prey pretty well. Here's one of the other females over here, hanging out by a cave in the plants. She's a little bit smaller than the other ones. Here's one of the males stalking this uh, snail again. Wait for his opportunity to pounce. I haven't named any of these. There's five of them in there. Um, I kind of like the name Murder Bean for the, the big boy. I've heard that name before and thought it was funny. But if any of y'all think of any names, just drop them in the comments below. Here comes another male. He's like, get out of here. Yet, he, uh, he never actually, like, he doesn't ever attack the other uh, inhabitants in the tank. He just kind of chases them away or butts them with his nose real fast. Never, I don't notice any fin nipping or chunks missing out of any of the other fish. They are known to be an aggressive species, however, I've had pretty good luck with it when they were younger. There was absolutely zero aggression. So luckily I haven't had to take any of my males back because they aren't like killing each other or ripping pieces off of each other in there. Although other people have had bad experience with over aggressive pea puffers. I attribute my success to just having enough plants and enough territory for them to kind of pick their areas. I also noticed at the store they're in a, like a three gallon tank with like over 40 of them and they're surprisingly all healthy, no missing fins or anything like that. So I think that may have attributed to their lack of aggression with one another. Although I've had success, I don't really recommend keeping them with a too many males to female ratio because they can be pretty aggressive like I said and it won't always turn out well. Sometimes some will get hurt, or you have to take some back to the store. Good combination is like one male to like two or three females. That way there's not too much uh, testosterone in the mix. Some people even recommend keeping a single pea fuffer in like a five gallon tank. That way you don't have to worry about any sort of aggression. You can see here how he's getting comfortable with her and she's getting more comfortable with him and he's getting closer kind of prodding at her and poking at her 
trying to coerce her into laying some eggs for him. He's a little bit cautious about it. If she pulls back, he kind of gives her space, swims away, and then tries again later. I think what she's doing here is attempting to look around and find a, uh, a suitable nesting area. I was kind of hoping she might choose that cave. I figured she might choose the cave, but maybe not. She might just be scanning the substrate, looking for movement, searching for food and such. That might even be a precursor to nesting. An area with a good amount of food, maybe I should feed her a bit more to promote breeding behaviors. Just before this scene, I dropped a snail in, hoping she would get a little nibble. I think he's oblivious to the fact that I dropped the snail in. She's trying to get a good angle on it. He's kind of getting in her way, poking and prodding at her, kind of annoying her. Well, now he sees it, and here he goes. That's how they do it. Well, that wasn't very gentlemanly of him. If he wants her to be the mother of his children, he's going about the wrong way. She's like, "Ah, oh, dude, he ate my lunch. She's like, I think we should see other puffers. He's like, what? No, wait, come back. There'll be plenty of snails in the future, I promise. Hey, you out there, can you... Uh, Toss me another snail, please. You see? Day ruined. How dare you eat my lunch? I want more food on this table right now. I'm sorry, baby. Get away from me. I want to see you the rest of this day. Get out. Get out of my house. Thank you. Dang, man. Didn't even leave me a scrap. Ain't that a bitch? Hey, you mind your business. Hey, hon, I got another girl. Can we keep her? Man, I can't believe my girl left me for a polygamist. Hey, who's she? Yeah, you better get out of here. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'll never let it happen again. 